Hi everyone, and welcome back into another SQL tutorial. And this is gonna be a follow-up to an earlier tutorial that did a select statement with a join. And the type of join that was demonstrated was an implicit join. The join that I'm gonna do here is gonna build on that same, um, same set of tables and fields, but we're gonna do it with the explicit syntax this time. So over here on the left, you can see there's the, the table with some of the fields that we used before. So we're gonna go ahead and begin with um, entering our, our select statement. And we'll get to that here in a second. There we go, we're gonna type it away. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the last name and we're also going to pull the uh, position description, which, as you can see, um, is coming from the position table. So there's our second table. So we'll just go last name, and we'll do post desk. And then this is where the, the, the types of joins start to differ. We're going to both, the, the, the from clause is going to be used. However, this time, we're going to see that it's going to um, pull from the employee table, and we'll say employee dot position ID. Oh, excuse me, take that back. <laughs> from employee join the position table, and there is the explicit aspect of it using the word join or the syntax join. Uh, employee join position on employee dot position ID equal to the position dot position ID. Now that particular join, once again, if you go back to the earlier tutorial, you're going to see that that's, that's joining the primary key from the position table with the foreign key as it appears in the employee table. So if we were to run that query, we could see that we're going to get our data there and we have a listing of eight records. Now, if we want to add another table to it, this is where you have to start thinking it through a little bit further, but we simply add it on. So we know that the employee table is also related to the qualification table. So we're going to add another uh, field here. We're going to display the qual desk, which is the qualification description. And we add that to our select list. And we're going to then say employee join position on that particular join join qualification on employee dot qual ID set that equal to qual excuse me qualification I'm just looking up the name of the table qualification qualification dot qual ID Qual ID. We can end that with our semicolon. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll uh, run that. And we could see now we have our records dis uh, being displayed with the last name, the position description, the qualification description. But you'll notice now also that one of the records is actually missing. There was seven. If you go back in the video there, you're going to see that there were seven records. Why is uh, one of them now disappearing? Well, it primarily has to do with the fact that one of the records in, um, in our employee table does not have a corresponding record in the qualification description table. So what we have is a situation, once again, where remember that these equals, these equi joins are built on the fact that a value in this one table matches a value in this other table and then it returns it. Well, we have a value that's missing or deficient and that deficient value appears in the employee table. Now, how do you get a deficient, a deficient value to appear? you have to make use of what's known as an outer join. So here you have your explicit join. And if you wanna now have a record displayed uh, that's part of the, the deficient value, you're gonna do an outer join. So you'll add the word outer. Now outer joins come in, in two variations. They come in right and left outer joins. When you speak in terms of left and right, it's actually the sequence in which the table appears on the left or the right side of the equal sign. So what I'm going to show you here is if I use a right outer join and now I execute my query, I still only have seven records. 
That's because we are focused. We are saying, oh, if the value is deficient on the right side of the equal sign, then display it. Well, it's not the right. It's not the qualification table that's missing the value. It's the employee table, which is on the left side of the equal sign. So I just put left. There I have. Now I have eight records. So, and who is it? It's this one fellow named Shaw. He's, his description is a salesman, but notice that his qualification description was null. One of the things you could do to handle that for purpose of display is you can make use of what's known as an is null. An is null um, is basically saying, if the qualification description is null, then do this. So it's a function. And once, when you hover over it, you'll see that it's looking for an expression and a replacement value. The replacement value, since it is going to be a, um, a, uh, a null, um, or not a null, it's going to be a, a text string, you have to put it in quotes, single quotes, and say is null, and we'll say unknown, something like that. Close that off, run the query, and there you'll see the word unknown appears. Or you could have a little bit more fun, and you could say no qual. And you could have it say whatever you like to have said. So this is a quick demonstration of the explicit join syntax. And what I've added in there now is also how we handle the outer join as being a left or a right side join. So I wish you luck with this. and. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.